Drio wanted me to make a sponsored video with their new tower fan. Okay, so how exciting is a fan? Well, it turns out more interesting than I thought it was. Most tower fans use a long squirrel cage type drum that spins vertically like this. And that blows air out the front. Now usually squirrel cage blowers suck the air in from the ends of the drum and then eject it out through some opening like this. But in the tower fan, this squirrel cage is actually closed on both ends so it clearly can't do that. So somehow this squirrel cage rotor has to suck air in one side and blow it out the other, but why in one direction? Really, what makes this squirrel cage rotor blow forwards instead of backwards or any direction at all? So I set up this experiment with a motor powering a rotor like this and I put this plexiglass on top so it can't suck in air from the top and it can't suck it in from the bottom. And if I spin up this rotor, I can hear the air fluttering around it. It's a very unstable sort of airflow around it, it seems. It comes off in all directions. But now if I position a block of wood close to it, suddenly things stabilize. And I get a jet of air coming off one side, and on the other side, not much happening. So I think what's happening is these uh, fins that are forward facing, they kind of scoop the air into the inside of the rotor. But once it's inside, of course, it spins with the rotor and centrifugal force wants to throw it back out. And for some reason, this is unstable in a way that the air gets thrown out more towards one side and sucked in towards the other side. And without this block of wood there, the place where the air gets ejected just keeps rotating around and around the fan, which causes all this fluttering. And when I put this block of wood here, Somehow that sort of synchronizes it with a rotation so that the air constantly gets thrown out to one side. But let's try flipping that rotor around to see if that scooping action of the fins really matters. And now it's very quiet and not much in the way of wind all around it. So that scooping action clearly does matter. So if this block makes the air come out this side, The question is, can I make the air come out in two places by putting two blocks on there? So I have two blocks now, so it could eject it in both sides. But it seems it only blows one direction. But if I put my hand here when it starts, now it goes this way and it stays this way. Now let's try to flip it once it's started by uh, blowing on it with an air compressor. There we go. But I can also flip it just by placing a block of wood next to it. And these cross flow blowers, I think that's what they're called, are much more effective than I thought they would be. And here's another cross flow blower. This one is for a fireplace unit. It's a replacement part. And it sucks in the air here, blows it out here. But the motor's actually a little bit overloaded. I think it expects a little bit of air resistance. So if I put this here, then it comes up to full speed. And these type of blowers are used whenever you need a thin and wide stream of air, like the air blowing out of a mini split unit. And with a Drio fan set to maximum, if I move 1.8 meters or 6 feet away, I get over 3 meters per second of wind speed. Compare that to the Dyson, I'm barely getting 2 meters per second. Or the Honeywell tower fan. A regular pedestal fan. And now with the uh, Drio turned down to be comparable to the other fans, mostly I'm hearing this one. And now I'm mostly hearing this one. 
And now I'm mostly hearing the Dyson. And there's the sound of the drill. But this is not a very thorough performance comparison. I'll do that in my next video. And I almost forgot to mention, this is after all a sponsored video. So there's a promotion on the Drio fan right now. See links in the description.